Here you're gonna learn all about how options are priced in the market and really the elements that are factored into the price of an option contract. We're gonna talk about the role that volatility plays in options and discuss the time decay aspect that is very important you understand with option pricing. And on top of that, we're gonna dive deep into the very important option Greeks. You're gonna learn all about the four main option Greeks including the Delta, your Gamma, your Theta, and your Vega. We'll have a section for each one of them and I'm gonna really dive in depth of how they're traded by using some live examples to show you how they react. Because the, the option Greeks act as your dashboard with all your option positions. So being able to utilize them is gonna promote consistent trading. It's gonna be more professional-like and it's gonna be a defined risk trading vehicle scenario that you can really take the emotion out of your trading. So that's what I'm all about here at Option Trading Coach and the Option Greeks is gonna help step you forward in that direction and it's more of an advanced section. So if you have trouble you know, understanding this your first go around, don't worry, that's what you can revisit this for because a lot of you out there, including myself, you know, as we first learn these more advanced top terms, you know, delta, gamma, theta, all this crazy stuff. It takes time, you review it, and don't hesitate to ask me questions because that's what I'm here for. So this is very important. I'm looking forward to showing you how this works. So let's dive right in. There's three factors in the price of an option. They include the actual price of the underlying security, how much time is left until expiration, and then the volatility metric. The intrinsic value is your real value. That's the equity of an option. Extrinsic value is your time value. This is really prevalent in your at the money and out of the money options. There's four elements elements that you want to understand that make up your extrinsic value. The first two are time decay and then implied volatility. And then you have interest rates and also dividends. Put options carry dividends. There's two types of volatility. You have historical volatility and implied volatility. The increases can come from things like a demand or heavy option buying, earnings announcements, uncertainty in the stock, lawsuits, FDA approvals, also takeovers or buyouts. Things that can decrease implied volatility such as supply or heavy options selling, certainty when the uncertainty is gone, also low stock volatility like in those blue chips, and also you can use the VIX. That's something that gauges the overall fear in the marketplace and a lot of options are going to be derived off of the VIX. The historical volatility is the relationship of what the underlying securities or options have traded versus the past. Typically this is calculated by taking the standard deviation of the stock's daily closing price over a given period of time. It's better to buy options when the volatility is low because when volatility goes up your options are going to go up in value even if the underlying security that you're trading doesn't go up in value this is the first option greek you're going to learn and delta is the most important aspect of option pricing because this is the metric that really understands your directional risk on a trade positive delta means your positive shares negative delta means your negative shares that translates into option trading terms as being long deltas on the flip side if you were bearing on a stock and you wanted to sell short the shares then you would have what's called negative deltas and delta can be expressed as a percentage but it's most often shown in decimal form ranging from 0 0.01 to 1.0 so a delta of 1.0 means that the option price will change one point for every one point move in the underlying stock and a delta of a call option is shown as a positive number the delta of a put if you purchase a put that's displayed as a negative number you have negative deltas thus you think the stock's going lower Professional option traders, they look for options with a delta that is suitable to his or her own risk tolerance. This is also known as your delta comfort zone. The cost of these is right at $3.10 per contract. So it has a 0.5 delta. What that means, and the way I got the delta here is I went to the column here just to customize it, option theoreticals and Greeks, and then I just put in the delta. And this is really important because now you can know how much is this option going to change, this 128 call option, the at the money call option right here this is all extrinsic value hopefully you see that now and if the stock goes from 128 to 129 then these options are going to go from three dollars and 15 cents to three dollars and 65 cents i'm going to be adding that delta there onto it again options are standardized to 100 shares of stock so when it has a 0.51 delta that's really 51 deltas so for 320 dollars you can see here that the cost of this option gives you 50 shares shares equivalent of Apple. Theta is the measure of time decay of an option. This is a huge insight to what professional traders 
used to make consistent monthly profits and weekly profits in the stock market. Theta, you want to consider this as your carrying cost or the premium you pay to own a call or put. It's identified as the theta risk. What's my theta risk? How much is it costing me to carry this position every day? The theta of long options. When you buy a call, you buy a put, the theta is always going to be negative. So on the flip side, the theta of a short option, whether you sell a call or put, will always be positive. The longer term options, such as leaps, they carry a very small theta risk. When gamma tends to be big and positive, theta tends to be big and negative. And that's the inverse relationship between these other option Greeks. When you understand this positive theta, this is how you can be able to create and generate the consistent income from the stock market and also trade smart. The reason why you need to understand these option Greeks with delta, gamma, theta, and soon vega is because when we get into the option strategies for bullish, bearish, and a sideways market, this is going to be what really wraps everything together. Vega is the implied volatility pricing aspect of an option. So an options Vega indicates how much the option price will go up or down for every 1% change in the underlying implied volatility, which is going to be listed on all option chains. So Vega increases when the demand exceeds supply, which is going to result in higher premiums that you pay for your options, thus higher implied volatility. Long options contain positive Vega. And then on the flip side, short options contain negative Vega. It's important you know how that will affect your overall positions. At the end of the day, it's all a game of managing your risk. And when you understand that you can take all that inventory and you can effectively translate that into an overall market risk, if you do have a directional pullback, then you're not going to be affected like you would be if you were just exposed out there.